love fierceness, awesomeness, creepiness and crawliness, you'll need to check out the latest series from Mr Deadly 60 himself. It's Steve Batchel. Hi Steve, how are you? I'm very good Pip, how are you? I am great and I am super excited about your brand new show Fierce. So, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. So it, it's mostly a look at predators, although there are a few animals on there as well that are very, I guess, aggressive in the way they defend themselves against other animals. And it's a tour around the world looking at some of the most spectacular wildlife, things that, that are really going to knock people's socks off. It sounds brilliant. So, can you tell me what the difference is between a fierce animal and a scary animal? Well, I, I think that um, an animal being scary is entirely subjective you know there are plenty of people out there who think that tarantulas are the most scary animals on the planet but i have them as pets in my house but whether an animal is fierce whether it is potentially aggressive whether it has fabulous ways of defending itself or or immense predatory skills those things are more objective those are things which i, I guess you can you can scientifically define so you visited a whole bunch of places while you filmed this series. So what's it like for people who live near or with these animals? Well, that was one of the most intriguing things about it, actually. You know, working, for example, in, uh, in South America, in the jungles, where there are people living right down by the waterside, and every single day they'll go down and they'll wash in the rivers, in the streams, where there are four metre long crocodiles, where there are electric eels, where there are piranhas, and finding out how those people manage to leave, live safely side by side with some of these animals, that to me is, is really, really interesting. And that's something that an awful lot of people in Australia have to manage to do as well. Speaking of, do you think it's a bit weird how proud Aussies are of our fierce animals? Yeah, I, do. I don't think it's weird at all. I, I love the fact that Australia has such pride in its wildlife and that, you, you know, the levels of, of fear that you have there in Australia are, are nothing like what we have in the UK. You know, people here are terrified of a seagull, nicks their chips. In Australia, <laughs> you live side by side with bull sharks and tiger sharks and great whites and the world's most venomous snakes. And like you say, people are, are proud of it. What was another country that had some really fierce animals? We had a, a wonderful, wonderful filming trip in Indonesia where we filmed uh, king cobras. I actually saw for the first time a king cobra eating another snake, which was something very, very special. All the way down, something called a flamboyant cuttlefish, which is tiny, it's about this sort of size, but puts on one of the most extraordinary light shows of any animal on the planet. And then Komodo dragons, these vast lizards, which it turns out are, are actually venomous. So all of that packed into one small trip was pretty impressive. Okay, Steve, I've got to ask, what is the fiercest animal ever? The fiercest ever? Well, you'd have to go a long way to get fiercer than a Tassie devil, that's for sure. So true, and a very Aussie answer. Thank you so much for chatting with us, Steve, and stay fierce. Thank you, thank you very much. All the best, Pip.